Next weekend, McMurray University is presenting a masterwork of modern drama, A Doll's House by Henrik Ibsen. Abby Ewing and Lee Nagels now here with us, joining us for the performance uh, for their uh, show today. Welcome, glad to have you both here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Although, <laughs> obviously, we have someone different as well. So, tell me about the show and about your characters and what what's. This is a, a piece that's sit, uh, set in Victorian time period. Mm -hmm. I mean, so late nineteenth century, yeah. more a uh, hundred years ago, when mm -hmm. things were vastly different. There were a lot more rules. There was a lot more expectations. Um, and fast forward to today, put it in play. Um, so basically, it's just about how the woman Nora she goes through the social norms that she has to has had to learn growing up, and how she puts them into play, and how she works with them. Um, in her married life and her husband gets very very sick and she tries to save him by taking out a loan under her father's name which is very illegal at this time <laughs> um, and still illegal today yes you still yeah. can't <laughs> pretend to be somebody yeah. else, just so you know um, so when he finds out the husband uh, Torvald he basically takes off this mask that he's had on this entire time of who he really is and she sees him for who she he really is and it changes her perspective of everything. So I talked with both of you a little bit before the show as, mm -hmm. we, as we began. A and this is a, a topic that can be very relatable even today. I mean, people, right. we have masks, we have, um, our, we have our best face forward, our best foot forward, and you know, truth is that we all have a few warts here and there, you know, and, mm -hmm. and as time goes on, th all of that tends to be divulged and exposed. And so you're seeing this, and yet he's really not a villain. He's not all that bad of a guy, mm -hmm. but I, in a sense, uh, he's a victim of his own circumstances. Exactly, yeah. The, the name A Doll's House, it's pertinent because every character in the show is a doll uh, being played by the, their history and the circumstances of their, like what's going on. So although a hundred years in our past and with so many more social rules and expectations, it's still something very relevant to mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. yeah, when you watch so. the show, I mean, you look at an individual or a situation, and you think, and you make a judgment, a, a quick snap judgment about a person thinking, oh, well, blah, blah, blah. And yet, without knowing that back history and how they came to be, there can often be a paradigm shift and an awakening, if you will, right, and eyes exactly. opened, and you go, hey. So, uh, learn anything about your character? I mean, as, as far as um, having a little more compassion or sympathy for him? Yeah. I. Uh Reading, reading through it at first, it can definitely be uh, treated, because I play no a Torvald and she plays Nora, <laughs> and you can definitely read it as Torvald is some sort of a, a villainous character, uh, but as you uh, performing it, you realize that, like I said, he is just a victim of his circumstances, just like she is, so it was cool to come to that realization of what's going on. So the age-old stories continue, even though 100, you know, uh, with each turning century, these, st these uh, scenarios are still applicable. There's yeah. still things that we're, we still haven't managed to overcome these same kind <laughs> <No>. of scenarios. <laughs> and today, I mean, and, and I, we probably even have more challenges today with things of social media mm -hmm. and so many more um, facets and different um, outlets out there that you, go, you can hide behind. Mm -hmm. So being exposed for who you really are and, and uh, uh, the rest of us having a better understanding or compassion for those individuals, you and yours, you and your scenarios, it, it, it's, a, it's a way to ex actually put an application in current modern times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very much so. Understanding the human nature, <laughs> if yeah, you will. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, are you excited about the show? Oh, very, very excited. Very, <laughs> <laughs> Love the costuming and the period timepiece? Oh yeah, and uh, important thing, we are doing the show in the round, which as far as we know is the first time we're uh, McMurray has ever done it in the history. So essentially, the audience isn't just going to be in front of us, they're going to be all around us. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. What an exciting way to, to present this. A perspective from all angles. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Congratulations to you both. you got one week till the curtain goes up, and we <laughs> want everyone to get tickets and come out and see this. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. All right. It'd be a great uh, b belated date, if you will, for Valentine's <laughs> Day. So get the tickets early, and then you can head out afterwards. So if you'd like to see A Doll's House, it will be presented at McMurray University in the Ryan Little Theater. That show runs February the 16th. That's through the 18th at 7.30 p.m. There's also a Sunday matinee February the 19th at 2 p.m. General, general admission tickets are $10. Seniors and military pay $7. We'll have more information and a link to get those tickets. That can be found on our website, bigcountryhomepage.com.